Mr. Zaghi Mohammed. Mr. Chairman, sir, with barrier free access and more lingways built, we find more personality mobility devices or PMDs and bicycles being used on our pedestrian walkways. However, the width of these walkways have not increased, and pedestrians are annoyed at the inconsiderate use of bicycles or PMDs who speed past them or ring their bells at them when overtaking, as uh, my member Libby Wise just mentioned earlier. There have also been many instances where these have resulted in close brushes or accidental hits on pedestrians as they try to speed past the morning or evening crowd. While the LTA has promoted the use of PMDs and bicycles in our towns, the expansion of walkways and bicycle-ready pathways have not progressed as quickly. When we have them, we must then make the bicycles and PMDs use them and restrict the use of normal pedestrian walkways when the alternative is available. Some residents have also expressed concern that the speed limit on PMDs may be fine for an open walkway, but perhaps it is less safe for pedestrians on a narrow footpath with people trying to get to and from work. Furthermore, the emergence of bicycle sharing apps has compounded the issue of indiscriminate parking of shared bicycles as many choose to leave bicycles along walkways, shelters and almost anywhere near residential estates and town centres. So I welcome the introduction of the Parking Places Amendment Bill introduced yesterday, which I hope will help address indiscriminate parking issues under the new licensing regime, which will also control fleet sizes of shared bicycle providers and implement temporary ban of recalcitrant users who park indiscriminately. I support LTA's car light strategy but it, has to, it needs to do more to preempt issues by these alternative modes of transportation. In addition, I would also say that infrastructure needs to be a priority, especially for heavily utilised pedestrian routes in, this, in our estate. Can the Ministry share with us its strategy to better balance pedestrian, cyclists and PMD user experience? Will the LTA rework the specifications of all major pedestrian walkways to enable special lanes for PMDs and bicycles? In addition, can the LTA share the effectiveness of its education and enforcement efforts on inconsiderate users and accidents involving PMDs and bicycles with pedestrians. As we move towards a car-like society, it is important that we also pay attention to the alternative modes of transport and how they can support this vision. So, Chairman, as I have some time left, I'd like to ask on behalf of my GRC colleague member Lo Yanling and residents of Gomba on whether the Ministry has any positive update on whether the opening of Hume MRT station will be a reality anytime soon. It has been a long-standing wish of residents in Hume, and on behalf of the GRC, I think they also hope that the Ministry will consider opening the station. Thank you, Chairman.